welcome to Jurassic June again. Uh, I'm gonna do a, another video today and actually do a video tomorrow because I missed a day. But uh, gotta make it up to you guys somehow. But today we're gonna be taking a look at this. This is the Jurassic World Indominus Rex. It's got a couple nicknames that I'll get into later. But this is the Indominus Rex. So we're gonna get a closer look at this figure. Okay, so here is the figure. This is the Jurassic World um, bad boy Indominus Rex, as it's sometimes referred to as. It's not a bad figure. It's not the best figure ever. I got it standing as Barbasol can here because it doesn't stand on its own because it's a Hasbro figure. Yeah, it's a pretty nice, nice Indominus Rex. It's pretty faithful to the movie. It's not 100% accurate. And there is more accurate Indominus Rex figures. But this one is not bad. Um, it's the first one I ever got. It's actually the first Jurassic World toy I got back when I was in the sixth grade. I know I'm old. Not, not really. But here's the figure. We'll get a closer look at it right now. Here's a closer look at the uh, figure. We're going to zoom in on the face. Pretty nice face. It's got this like rubbery neck as part of the action feature. Uh, usually these just start to rub off and fade away, even though the toy is less than... 10 years old because Hasbro is cheap and doesn't uh, know how to make toys. Uh, it opens. You got a bunch of bumps and ridges all over the body. You got the frill things on the arms. Very muscular arms. But they're parallel as part of the gimmick, which sucks. You can't pose any of these figures. You can move the legs on this figure, that's about it. Got the spines on the back, the tail, it's a long tail. It's supposed to help it balance, but the figure can't stand. On the other side, you got the tail. You got these disgusting screw holes. Looks like a big McDonald's toy. This thing costs $34, just thought I'd let you know that. Well, it used to cost, I'll look at eBay prices in a bit. Not a bad figure. Not a good figure. There's the Jurassic World logo. Big feet help it stand, but it doesn't stand. So, yeah, this is the figure. It takes double A's. Look at the action features. Here's show off the action gimmick. What you do is you pull down the arms, and it'll roar and light up. It's got three sounds. what it does um pull the arms down and the roars go grab the figure real quick so I can show off the gimmick a bit better the chopping action got this uh, Jurassic World Allosaurus here I really like this Allosaurus it's one of the better Jurassic World figures. The Indominus will just be like, mm. That's it. Yeah. And the hands can hold stuff, like it can hold figures in its hands, kind of. So yeah. That's the, uh, that's the Indominus. And while there was never a repaint of this figure, there is a Walmart exclusive version that came with the Gyrosphere from the Indominus Rex vs. Gyrosphere set. It's got a different box than the original. It's just kind of cool that there is a variant of this. I don't have this variant, but it is pretty cool. But I'm going to show off the lights in the dark now. So we're in the dark. I'm going to show off the lights in the dark. Go from orange to red. Pretty cool. Show it off again in a sec. Pull 
it down again. And those are the uh, the lights on the figure. <laughs> so this isn't a bad figure. If you want one now, you're gonna have to pay about thirty to forty bucks on eBay, which I would not recommend doing. If you really, really want an Indominus Rex figure, I would recommend just uh, just going down to your local Target and buying one of these. This is the Mattel one. It's a much better figure. Uh, it's a lot. I like it a lot. That's a lot better than this Indominus. And it looks film accurate too, it's like almost completely spot on. But yeah, that's the uh, Bad Boy Indominus Rex. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be it for my review of the Jurassic World uh, Indominus Rex figure. It's not the greatest in the world, it's not the worst in the world either, it's much worse than Indominus Rex is. Like, uh, there's this guy. Yeah, he's really bad. But, if you're gonna get an Indominus Rex, as I'd said, get the, uh, one of the Mattel ones. They're really good, Mattel. This is the reason why Hasbro lost the license to Mattel. Because these toys are big McDonald's toys, essentially. But, as progression goes, in the next video, we will be taking a look. Next video, we'll be taking a look at this, the Indoraptor. So, stay tuned for my next video. Anyway, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. He doesn't go. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I'm sorry.